What is going on, Renation? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. So earlier we did some Kenny Omega reactions, and you guys pretty much enjoyed it. You was like, yes, keep doing Kenny Omega. So I'm going to try my best to like try to do Kenny Omega more often because you guys really like it. So we got a reaction today, and it's like called 10 Reasons Behind the WWE Trade or whatever like that. So there's reasons behind the trade, and I know it is. So if you haven't hit that like button on this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 8,000 subscribers, man. You guys have been supporting me 100%. Let's get into it, man. Let me see if I can get into it. Hold up. Um, there we go. Let's get it. The superstar shakeup is over, but fans are still wondering why did WWE move certain wrestlers? And what does the future hold for these new members of Raw and SmackDown? Top 10 reasons behind it. WWE superstar shakeup tree. Let's go. 10. Kevin Owens showed up on SmackDown in a suit and new clean cut look. Even though Owens will be defending his US title against Chris Jericho, where the winner goes to SmackDown, Owens will more than likely win because Jericho is touring with his band Fozzy right. this coming May. Yes. Kevin Owens is coming to SmackDown because WWE decided to put current Intercontinental Champion Dean Ambrose on Raw. So WWE had no choice but to move Owens to SmackDown so the show could have its own secondary title and another top heel yes. on the show. Yes, that's true. The New Day are still popular, and they still sell tons of merchandise, but they are nowhere near as popular as they were a year ago. WWE doesn't want to turn the New Day heel because of the fear that if they did, their merchandise sales would drop, since heel merchandise rarely sells well. CM in Punk an effort to keep the New did. Day as babyfaces, WWE moved them to SmackDown, and they will likely be feuding with the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Cool, cool, cool. Rusev wasn't doing much on Raw when he got injured, so it's no surprise that WWE moved him to SmackDown along with his wife Lana. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Lana, a promo video aired on SmackDown which looks to be a new dancing gimmick for Lana. Lana has been training to wrestle at the NXT Performance Center and also has been working NXT live events. WWE wants her to be a wrestler on SmackDown and they hope that her character can be a replacement for Eve Marie, oh, who's yes. probably never coming back to WWE. Probably not. I'm <laughs> going to do porn. Even Sami Zayn lost his first match as a member of the SmackDown roster, fans are excited to see what direction Sammy goes in on the show. Okay. One thing that may have helped Sami Zayn get moved to SmackDown was his friendship with former NXT head writer and now SmackDown head writer Ryan Ward. Mm -hmm. When Ryan Ward was the head writer for NXT, Sami Zayn was pushed heavily on that show, which was one of the many reasons why NXT became so popular. True, true. Alexa Bliss has been the top star of the women's division on SmackDown for several months. She won the SmackDown Women's Championship on two separate occasions and has feuded with almost everyone on SmackDown. Raw now needs a new top heel for the women's division. That's true. So WWE made the move to put Alexa on the show. Because they got rid of Charlotte, so... Rumor has it that the reason why The Miz, along with Maurice, was moved to Raw was so that The Miz could wrestle Kurt Angle in the future, maybe even at SummerSlam 2017. Ooh. WWE wants to do a storyline with Angle and The Miz similar to the one between Daniel Bryan and Miz, because uh -huh. they couldn't have a match since Bryan had to retire due to uh, having Oh, that makes concussions. sense. That makes totally sense. Callisto has been lost in the shuffle on SmackDown. He was moved to Raw <laughs> so that he could take part in the Cruiserweight division and also appear on 205 Live. Nah, Callisto. Dean Ambrose is nowhere near as over as he was a year ago when he was a WWE. WWE Champion. Dean's character grew stale on SmackDown, and WWE saw that he needed a change. That's true. Dean may not be happy about this move, though, because his wife, Renee Young, is still on SmackDown, yeah. which makes his move to Raw bittersweet. And they just got engaged, too, so... Charlotte Flair has won the Raw Women's Championship five times. It was the perfect time for her to move to SmackDown, since she's already had tons of matches with Sasha Banks and Bayley. Also, Charlotte may have helped influence the move, since she is best friends with Becky Lynch in real life, yeah. and has made it clear in past interviews that she would love to be on SmackDown down with Becky. That's cool. That's Many cool. fans were shocked when Bray Wyatt showed up on Raw as a part of the I, Superstar I was. Shakeup. Bray is still embroiled in a long feud with Randy Orton and is facing Orton at the Raw pay-per-view payback. The match is taking place at a Raw pay-per-view because the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar is not defending his title on the yeah, show. That's so the main stupid. reason why Bray Wyatt was moved to Raw was to make room for an AJ Styles versus Randy Orton feud mm. that will likely begin at Backlash this May. Were you happy who got moved in the Superstar shakeup? And who do you think got left? I, I was a little upset about the Miz and Maurice moving because their character is so strong on SmackDown, and we're not gonna have that strong character like the Miz on uh, the Miz on SmackDown. Like it's crazy, but I understand why they moved Alexa Bliss. You need that heel. You need that heel on Raw. If you're not gonna have Charlotte, you need somebody because the only heel we had was Nia Jax, and. Probably that's about it. I mean, Shasha Banks isn't heel yet. And Kalisto, I'm going to be real true. I really didn't care that he got moved. It's just the fact that I didn't really care. Kalisto, he really hasn't kept. He really hasn't been catching my eye since like last last year when he had the United States Championship. Even when he did have United States Championship, it was still like, eh. 
but I understood why they have the rain, uh, why they have Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt on the payback pay per view, just because like Brock Lesnar doesn't want to defend his championship, which is so dumb. If you're gonna have a championship, you gotta defend it, and that is just that's the most bogus thing ever. But post comments down below. Tell me how you think about this. Do you think um, that Brock should have defended his title at a uh, payback? Do you think that uh, these moves were the best? Are you upset about Miz and Maurice? Just let me know now in the comments below. I will see you guys later. Peace out, Renation. Deuces. One love. Mm. Peace.